Um, we are not starting our morning the way we expect. Our battery was drained completely. It's super humid here, no air whatsoever. So we are like uh, drenched. <laughs> Welcome from Arkansas. We've made it to our 18th state. We have some hiking to do today. Hopefully the rain holds out. And I think that's about it. Yeah, that's really about all we have planned. <laughs> we don't really have much planned ever, so. <laughs> it's very humid here. Very. Which we're not used to anymore since we've been in the Southwest, but we're excited to go hiking. Yeah. The water pump station. We drove through the entire Ozarks National Forest to get here. It's just a little potable water spigot that we can put the van um, hooked up to. Moose is very anxious. He wants to get out. Um, but yeah, that's just what we're doing. We're gonna try to get this done quick, empty our pee tank, and then get back somewhere that's not so scary. So, ouch. For us to also get our water out, we have um, the tank in our bench seat, so we're going to get that out. I'm letting them come along with us. Uh, hey, Moosey, why don't you go lay on your bed? Moosey! Now, we're dumping our pee. It was so full that we had to bring our toilet here to the edge, and we never do that, but yeah. We had it so full it was leaking out, so that's one thing. If you have a composting toilet, make sure you catch uh, the levels before they're too high or else you're gonna have peace fall all over your van. <laughs> what? The pee tank's done? Pee tank is done. Everything is taken care of. We had a little spillage, I told them, Just but we bit. cleaned it up. <laughs> yes, we did. I thought you were pointing at me. I was like, hey, well, we didn't spill on me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be taking a shower. <laughs> I have spilled on myself at the apartment when we got back from a mini weekend trip and it went all down my leg. So that was fun. <laughs> but it's not as gross as you think. Dumping the toilet is actually not bad at all. Um, it's really, the pee smells pretty bad, but it's nothing you can't handle. But yeah. It's, it doesn't smell bad, it just smells weird. Like, yeah. Obviously, if you live in a normal house, you're not used to just smelling what your pee. <laughs> It smells Lucy. like after like it's been fermenting for like a few days. Ew, so. there's flies coming in. Yeah, see Molly's more gross out by flies in the van than me talking <laughs> about what your pee smells like after a few days. So <laughs> that's just how we are nowadays, yeah. isn't it? It's <laughs> our state of affairs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we gotta find a place to go and I hike. have to use the toilet first. <laughs> <laughs> So tonight we are on our way to Hot Springs, Arkansas. It'll be our 14th national park down there and um, we're super excited. But we, on our way we stopped in Little Rock and we're actually going to stay the night here but we decided not to. So we ended up going to a few places. We went to a mill and then we went to a park called Emerald Park and we did a little walk. Here's the right to um, keep Sorry about that. But then um, we didn't really vlog there, but we have some video clips, so we'll show you those now. We are at Hot Springs National Park, actually just beside Bathhouse Row, the most famous attraction here. Um, so we're gonna walk down here, get to learn a little bit about the buildings and then go on a little hike afterwards. This is Superior Bathhouse. It's actually the longest operating bathhouse on Bathhouse Road. So that's really cool. And it's called that because they offered a superior experience than everybody else. So it's pretty neat. Yeah. 
can't tell, it's really loud here, but Moose is loving the water. Bathhouse Row was really cool, really historic, so it's really neat. This <laughs> is just like zigzagging in front of us. Um, <laughs> it was really awesome. I think my personal favorite would probably have to be the one that, uh, some Spanish explorer, I can't think of his name. It's not, I don't think it's Cortez. But either way, he came and visited. It's that one actually right there. The white one with two towers at the top. That one's probably my favorite. It looks really cool. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's me. What about you, Moles? My favorite was the one that had the rocking chairs on the front porch and then the huge Spanish influence. Which one was that? <laughs> I don't know. All of them. I'm yeah, just kidding. But I think it was actually the one right before the one that Ty's favorite is. It's just down Spanish. In there. I think it's like the Ozark or something. Yeah. But, oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Orleans, Louisiana, or as some people say, NOLA. Um, we are right now parked in the French Quarter, but just know if you come here and park in the French Quarter, it costs nineteen dollars and some cents at the parking lot we're at for just two hours. So that is definitely not budget friendly, but you have to pay to park around here, and we can't wait before the rain gets pouring down on us to go walk. So what's your thoughts of New Orleans? I think it's a pretty cool city. We're in the French Quarter, or the Quartier de la France. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but, um, but yeah, I think it's really cool. It's a really neat like area of town. Um, it's just sensory overload for people like us that aren't from the big city at all. Um, and I'm sure Malls will tell you the same thing when she gets her turn. <laughs> but it is really cool. I love the history and things like that. But uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Now for Malls is reflections. Mm -hmm. What are my thoughts? Well, this is the very first large city I've ever walked in. Um, I've walked in Chicago, which I might be a bit bigger, but I've walked in Chicago for a school field trip in Indianapolis with my family and Ty. And then um, we went to Cincinnati, but we didn't really walk around. So this is my first like big city. And I don't know, I feel very overwhelmed and kind of scared, honestly. There's a lot of homeless people and um, people drinking and I just don't like that thing, kind of, like kind of thing, so yeah. Chicago is far bigger, but this place is way crazier, I would, I would say. Don't you agree? Yeah, I definitely think it's way crazier. There's a lot more, um, I don't know, like things going on at once, I guess you could yeah. say. But it's a beautiful city. I think you should at least come once to experience it. But just know it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> And get to Cafe Du Monde early because we got here like five minutes after they opened and the line was all the way through the back of the building. And, so. and Cafe Beignet is the other famous one and very, very busy. It also doesn't help that it is super humid here, no air whatsoever, so we are like uh, drenched. <laughs> yeah. And you didn't think you could get out of here without a history lesson, did you? <laughs> Originally, we were going to buy, as Americans, the Port of New Orleans, this city, um, for ten million dollars and when we went with the French and told them our ideas they said okay How about this? We'll give you the entire territory which basically stretched all the way over to Colorado and to Canada for 15 million dollars And Thomas Jefferson who was a diplomat at the time said yeah, that's a decent deal So they ended up doing that essentially doubled the size of the country and uh, began the thought of moving west moving west moving west uh, so Pretty interesting stuff. Like I said, I was telling Molly it's kind of a huge deal, but it's pretty cool. Like I said, you can't leave here without a history lesson. So, <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty cool. We are on our way to uh, somewhere to eat. <laughs> well, we're not sure if we're eating or not somewhere, but uh, we are heading into Biloxi, Mississippi. Biloxi. 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 But we are so sorry if you guys are waiting for us to try beignets. We're gonna try our hardest to go find some. Um, but we're really sorry that there is no food here. I know we're missing out, but hopefully we'll find something great along the way. There's something going on with our uh, GPS. 
<laughs> Tell them about it. This, we have like, she's talking in a really deep voice. <laughs> and so when we got to like our one spot, I was like, stay in the middle lane. <laughs> it felt like I was being threatened. I have no idea what's going on. And then on. it's like, please take the right lane or something. And then it, yeah. Yeah, and like in the normal voice, it was really weird. Yeah, I, I didn't, I'm not a fan of this. I it just started. It's been normal this whole time. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, it was like, stay in the middle lane. <laughs> then turn left on a town center parkway. It's scaring me. Uh, well, we couldn't find any food. So we're just going to eat in this parking lot and uh, head into Mississippi. We have made it to Dolphin Island here in Alabama. Uh, finally, some time to relax on the beach. Not really relaxing, I'm probably gonna walk around for like four hours, which my mom only likes to do so much. Um, but we're here, um, I'm really excited to be here. I'm just pumped to be out here. Um, but we just gotta change and get our chacos on, of course, and uh, we'll be on our way. We got really lucky, we got here literally right when the gate lady was leaving, and she said that we didn't have to pay because she was going to the bank. So, uh, we lucked out there. But yeah, without further ado, let's get going. Now we have to change into our swimsuits, which we've not done for a very long time, but you can't watch that, of course, so... We're ready, let's go to the beach! What do you have? <laughs> That is his toy from Bass Pro Shop yesterday. He got a brand new beach toy. Come on, buddy. Percy, come here. Come here. <laughs> Are you ready, dude? Are you ready, dude? Ready, dude? Go get it. Oh boy, get it buddy! Yes, good boy! <laughs> Ready or what? You got it? Okay. <laughs> Come on buddy! How's the water? <laughs> Warm. Much better than North Carolina. If you watch that vlog, which I recommend you do, uh, you will see that we are wearing sweatshirts and maybe Smalls is wearing a heavy coat. Um, so much, much better. <laughs> the water's nice and warm. Moose is going crazy. Um, I will try and put a video of a moose running on water so you can see the similarities between him and our dog. It's just, it's just out of this world funny. I mean, he just goes flying, <laughs> jumping through the waves. Just like now. Just now, yeah, exactly. Hey, David, come on. He's acting like a lab, so maybe our second dog Next year, after we graduate, should be another lab. Because <laughs> he's acting like one. Yeah, he is. Look at him out there. He's choosing this. Also, um, I've never really gotten in the ocean. I've been to the ocean once when I was little, and then once in Southport, and I guess another time in South, Car or in South Carolina. But this is the first time I've actually gotten in past my knees, so that's really exciting. <laughs> So I don't know if you've been able to notice, but we have really white beaches here compared to our Southport vlog and things like that. Also, the beaches have like no shells on there as Molly is finding out. Um, so the reason why is when the oil spill happened back in 2008, whenever it was, I don't remember when it was even. Um, whenever that happened, they took sand from the ocean and just dumped it here on the ground and we have this really white sand and because there's no shells out there and there's no shells here because it's all from the ocean so it's pretty cool stuff pretty amazing that they're able to like basically remake the entire gulf um but yeah so that's why our why our, the sand looks a little different here
And that French Quarter was a lot less crazy than the French Quarter we went to yesterday. Um, but definitely not as big. But Fairhope is such a nice town. I mean, we're here really early. I actually feel like I'm screaming, but really, it's, I'm not. But it's a really nice town. It's really quiet, really relaxed. Um, yeah, I love this town. It's a really nice little cute southern town. Still really humid though, almost. Yes. <laughs> An awesome thing about Fairhope is Hollywood movies are shot here. So you might be wondering why. Well, buildings like this are really southern and cute, and so many people will um, want to have their movies made here. So if you come at the right place at the right time, you could be an extra in a movie if they're filming. So that's really cool. <laughs> here in Fairhope, Alabama. Um, it is known for a few things. It's been in Southern Living Magazine. It's been on a few other stuff. But the best thing is Guy Fieri from Triple D or Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives was right here and he ate the food in this restaurant. He got the turkey panini, which they don't serve for breakfast and we don't like turkey. But he named that the flavor, or the, what did they say, flavor bird? The state the bird state, of Flavor Town. The state bird of Flavor Town. He gave them his A-OK, -okay, and so we are trying their food, but not paninis. So we'll show you what we got. So excited? Yes. We have quite the spread here. This is just plain beignets. You can get them in an order of two or four. We got four because two isn't really enough to satisfy us since we wanted some so badly yesterday. Then we have um, a bacon, egg, and cheese beignet. That's mine. Molly hates eggs. With fresh fruit. That has fresh fruit and syrup. I'm probably not going to use either, but that's there. And then Molly got a grilled chicken, basically, pen, um, beignet. So they basically press a beignet with grilled chicken in it and they serve it to you. So this looks really good too, smells really good. She also got fresh fruit and syrup as well. But this is what we got, we're pumped to eat. I'm pumped to eat. Are you pumped to eat? Oh yes. <laughs> all right, then let's get eating. And it, all, it costs $20 for all of this food, which is actually really good for the area. It can cost upwards to $15 a sandwich at some places. So that's our budget friendly tip. How oh, is it? Finger licking good. This is amazing. Um, so the, I love eggs and I don't really get them ever because Molly hates them that much. <laughs> so when I do get them, they are delicious. Um, the eggs and the bacon is like a typical like breakfast kind of sandwich. But the chicken with this like um, crispy sweet beignet, oh, so good. This is delicious. Moles, all right, yours. Mine is very, very good. The beignet on top pairs perfectly with the chicken. I think it has some kind of like a grilled seasoning on it. It is really good. And then I actually dipped it in the syrup. I usually don't use syrup, but oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> What do we think? What do we call these? Gangster? Yes. <laughs> Flavor Town, baby. <laughs> Isn't it cute? We went to Refuge Coffee here in Fairhope, Alabama. Um, the place that we got our beignets didn't really have um, any like signature coffees that I really wanted to try. So this place makes their own um, syrups for their coffees. And I ended up getting their cinnamon honey that's local. And so it's a cinnamon honey cappuccino. So I can't wait to try it. Mmm, that is like my favorite breakfast in a cup. When I was little, um, my parents would always make me toast with butter and cinnamon and sugar on it and I had that growing up and that's one of my favorite breakfasts today. And this tastes like a cinnamon um, sugar toast breakfast thing <laughs> in a cup. It's so good. Mmm, and... It's very smooth. The milk in there is just smooth. I don't know. It's just, it's the best coffee I've ever had. I can say that right here, right now. <laughs> We have arrived at Cape San Blas for our second consecutive beach day. We are so pumped. 
quick note, if you come here, first of all, it's a gym because there's not really that many people here and on a Florida beach, that's really rare. And also second, if you come to the Salinas, Salinas area, however you pronounce it, they have free beach parking and access and things like that. And apparently they have a shower. So we're gonna get a shower after this, which is really nice. Uh, we stink and we're sandy, so this is really good. Um, but we are so excited to be here. Moose is pumped to go back out and play. And uh, without further ado, let's get going. You ready to go to the beach? <laughs> Sandbox. We had a blast at the beach. We got spoiled yesterday. The waters were rough and they were clear. Here they were rough and not clear and so we actually were at a driving beach so we couldn't really play very much with Moose and he didn't like the water very much but we got to walk around, play in the water and then we got to get our shower and oh my goodness we have not had like an actual running water shower for two and a half weeks and Moose is playing with this way. But two and a half weeks, um, we use our indoor shower and use um, like these pop bottles that have a shower head on them. Um, they're like a, just a little makeshift shower or we wipe down. So that felt wonderful. How was it? Very good. These are still a little wet. Do you feel so much better? So much better. Was it, wasn't it nice? Was it cold? Yeah, it was like perfect temperature for one day. Oh, I know. This is a cute little town. The destination is on your left. Joe, Mama's wood fired pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Arrived. We are here at Joe Mama's Pizzeria here in Port St. Joe. It is a wood-fired pizza grill here. Um, it looks delicious. It smells delicious. It's a really great place according to Yelp, so we're ready to dig in. We haven't been doing a very good job at getting our first bites, but this pizza is so good. It has a thin but fluffy crust. The sauce is like a marinara, but really toned down. It has a different flavor, like it's a fresh sauce. It's really good. And then I think this is mozzarella on the top, but it is just so cheesy and gooey. Mm, it is so good. I'm loving this. Good morning from Georgia, our 23rd state. Um, we are not starting our morning the way we expected. We woke up in a Walmart and our fan was turned off and we weren't sure what was going on. Well, explain the significance because it's important why our fan was on. Yeah, so the fan was off and um, I woke Ty up and he went and checked and our battery was drained completely. And when the battery goes down to 0%, that means we have to jump it. And um, we have to use our car battery. Thank gosh our um, cords are long enough. But usually we would have to pull our actual car behind or my mom's car and jump that when it happened before. But it ran all the way down to zero. We're jumping it right now. If it doesn't work, we have 11 hours until we're home, um, which was the plan tomorrow night to visit family. But we don't know what's gonna happen because the, our food all spoiled. Um, it's way too hot to sleep in here. Um, we won't have any water running and um, our toilet is going to start smelling because a composting toilet has the fan and that pulls all the smell out and it will start coming in here. But let's just hope that this really works and then we can spend our last night in the van. The good thing is we are only 11 hours home from our away from home. It could be a lot worse if we were in Colorado or Arizona. So we're actually very grateful for where we are right now. The one positive of having a 136, well, there's many, there's a few, but <laughs> the one one that's proving very nice right now, is we can we can start our battery back there with our battery in the front. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you have a longer van, literally, if you have any longer van, we'll it won't work. I mean, it barely makes it all the way there. Um, but yeah, so it's working. Um, just gotta wait. <laughs> so. That means, and we're at our trail uh, head for the day. It's at Providence Canyon, and um, it's just a cute little place. It's a canyon here in Georgia that not a lot of people know about, so we want to show you guys that. But let's just hope this works. If it does, we'll just throw our food out and get on with our day. But we just wanted to show you guys it's not always rainbows and sunshines with van life. <laughs> 
So we have fixed the electrical issue. It's working now, the battery charge, so we can keep going for tonight. We don't have to drive 11 hours home. But right now we are at Providence Canyon in Georgia. It's a little south from Columbus, Georgia. Um, it's a hidden gem, so not a lot of people know about it. We only found out about it because of Pinterest. So we will take you along to see the canyons. Now, we do want to say it is $5 to come park here. Um, if you have a state park pass for Georgia, then you don't have to pay. Um, but that is the pricing, and it's pet friendly on the trails, so that's another bonus. We are in the canyon right now. We're actually walking on the floor, but do not come here if it's going to rain heavy or has rained because well, they got just a little bit of rain here yesterday and we're actually walking through water right now, um, which we didn't plan on. So definitely be aware if you come here to check the forecast and things like that. Providence Canyon, awesome place to come. Definitely recommend if you're crossing through Georgia to come check it out. I believe it's five dollars to get in. Yeah. So um, it is a state park, so you can come here. Um, but it is really, really awesome here. The views obviously are incredible. It's no, it's no Grand Canyon. We're not gonna, we're not <laughs> gonna compare it to that. But this is really cool, and also the rocks are really neat too. The like the sandstone, it kind of reminds me of the rocks in Utah, doesn't it? Yeah. Like really like fine stuff. So. But this is really, really awesome. Um, we definitely think that this is a great place to stop and get your dog out for a hike or a walk or whatever as well. And uh, just enjoy like how these things were formed. It's just pretty crazy to think that here in the backwoods of Georgia, we have canyons. <laughs> <laughs> So of course this place is awesome, but you can either hike down in the canyon like we are, or up, and I think there's like a perimeter trail that you can go do too, but we highly recommend that you come down in here and go in the little grooves and enjoy that space instead of going up and around. But one thing to remember is wear some bug spray when you come because it is buggy. <laughs> We also wanted to make clear that at Providence Canyon, it looks really tempting to climb these rocks, but don't be fooled. It is actually against the law to climb up the face of the rocks because they have a Soil Conservation Act in place. So don't try and go all free solo. I know if you've seen that movie, you're like, oh man, if they can climb just straight up granite, I can climb these. Don't try it. If you haven't seen the video or movie, watch it. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna fall down. I know. And one more thing, the humidity here is brutal, especially coming from the west. Oh my gosh, I did not realize how humid it was here since I've been here for like 10 years straight without leaving. Wow! Oh, <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what you think of home. I don't know, I'm not a fan of this. Turn right down to Canyon. Now that we've made it through Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and Georgia, all five states, um, I think we're gonna call this vlog an end. Um, thank you guys for watching. We had a great time here in the southern states and we cannot wait for you guys to see where we're going next. Stay tuned and we'll see you either Friday or Tuesday. What? It's hot. Moose man. Moose going back? I can be sappy too sometimes. Only at the beach though, on long romantic walks. Isn't that right, Moss? Yes. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh. So, uh, <laughs> turn it off, I feel pressure.
So we're going around Atlanta right now in Georgia and we are on an eight lane interstate. It's the biggest one we've ever been on. Um, my mom's talked about these over in Hawaii when she lived there, but I just did not realize how large these things were and I'm glad I'm not driving. <laughs> how, what's, what do you think? I love it. I love driving on the interstate. Good time. Oh jeez. And we're in the fast lane. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we always live our life. <laughs> we're not going that fast. We're going like, we're going seriously. Everybody else is driving really slow. We're doing 65, the speed limit. Don't worry, Mom. 